Hi, I just wanted to make a video showing something kind of interesting. Uh, this I have here is Doom for the Super Nintendo and um, a Game Genie. <clears throat> this is a version 1 Game Genie. Um, and usually, uh, these Super FX games or any games with um, an additional chip inside of them won't work through a Game Genie because, as you can see here on my Star Fox, they have these two extra cartridge pins on the bottom, which the Game Genie doesn't compensate for when you plug it in the top. It only has that connectors for that middle piece of the cartridge. So usually these games don't work at all. You might be able to type in a code, but as soon as you press start, it... Um, it doesn't work. It just usually goes to a black screen or something like that. But here, for Doom, for some reason, I put in here um, the code. It's just a code I found online that's called start with more ammo. You usually start with 50 ammo. Um, and this one's supposed to give you more. And I press start. And the game boots right up. Which I don't really understand why it's it, it and it basically runs as if those extra pins aren't used at all you see 254 ammo this is also an overclocked uh cart i guess you could say the f like frame buffer is overclocked so it's cycling through the frames faster and it, it helps with the input lag with this game, but but either way, this code, and as you can see, the game seems to just work to work just fine. There's no graphical glitches. It just runs without those extra pins, which is strange, but it's cool. I can at least use this code, and I've used I tried a couple other codes, and they didn't. Um, it didn't want, they didn't want to work. Uh, let's say I tried, like, a more health code, which sort of worked, but it caused glitches. Um, there was another one that was supposed to let me select any chapter in any difficulty, which that one just made the screen turn pink when I tried to start a new game. But, um, I also found that... Yoshi's Island will also boot up with the Game Genie. But this one, actually, it... Oops, sorry. This game, it runs, but there's definitely some graphical errors. Um, polygons and everything seem to work. Like uh, those, the levels with the spinning 3D platforms those work but it does cause some graphical glitches and some sound glitches actually too which is weird but see it also it basically runs just fine there'll be like certain parts of the screen that and actually, you know what? It doesn't even seem to be doing it at all. This is the version 1 Game Genie. When I plugged it into the version 2, it caused more problems. Here, let's just see what happens in a level. Yeah, it's weird. It's like it doesn't even need... Yeah? It all seems to be working just fine. Let's try it with the other Game Genie. Let's see if that makes any difference. Kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. Now see, with the version 2 Game Genie, it all the games will... 
it basically just skips past the the code screen. I can't type in any codes, but it does seem to work. Yeah, see, okay. You can kind of see it's starting to glitch out a little bit. So I don't know what exactly is causing that because if it's the extra pins not having a connection, it should be because of this. But see, this version 2 causes all these glitchy junks. But it still works. As far as I know, you could probably just play through the whole game. I don't, I don't know if there's... I'm sure there's something maybe along the lines that could cause it to crash, but... It seems to work. One-handed playing, not easy. And this seems to be working just fine. Oh, dear God. Well, enough of that. Well, I don't know. I don't know if anybody has anything to say about that, if anybody cares, but I thought that was interesting.